What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Big Chunky. If you're a fan of Ocarina of Time, like I am, you might know about a little demo called uh, Space World uh, 1997. And the reason it's, the reason it's called um, Space World 1997 is it's named after the convention that it was shown off at. It was shown off at Nintendo Space World 1997. And essentially what happened was earlier in the year, 2021, uh, in January I believe, um, there was a really big dump of earlier builds from that uh, convention of Ocarina of Time and F-Zero found on a Nintendo 64 development cartridge. It looks like a really long, it looks like an elongated, a stretched Nintendo 64 cartridge. They're, they're pretty cool looking if you haven't seen one. Um, so that what, what has happened is after that dump happened, a lot of data um, that is entirely foreign to me uh, because I'm not a game developer, if you will, um, uh, a lot of information, a lot of maps, music, icons, a l uh, effects, uh, a lot of stuff was dumped. Uh, and a lot of, <laughs> uh, quite a few people have come to uh, try to recreate um, what, was ex what was shown off in the 1997 demo. Because, if you don't know, Ocarina of Time was originally supposed to be developed for an add-on for the Nintendo 64 called the DD, the disk drive. Um, but unfortunately, it sold like trash in uh, in Japan, so they never really brought it to America. Um, and they shifted development from a lot of their projects that were supposed to be for that console to the regular Nintendo 64. So as we saw uh, what was dubbed as Zelda 64 at the time, as everything was you know, 64, so Zelda 64, um, we saw a lot of intricate animations and... Um, like for example, uh, it would use the the disk drive and the um, and the actual Nintendo sixty four internal clock to uh, like remember where people like your uh, if you stepped in snow or something and made a trail your trail would stay there for the for the duration of the game or if you cut down a tree that tree is gone <laughs> um, so it, it was a really ambitious project and there were a lot more intricate animations and attacks and believe it or not the medallions that you get. Um, throughout the game, when you beat the t uh, when you beat the dungeons, actually were supposed to be um, spells um, to to more mimic the uh, the genre, the the flavor of the the element that the uh, that the dungeon is based around. So one um, one build called the Nintendo or the, I'm sorry, the Zelda 64, the Ocarina of Time. Uh, Space World 1997 experience, and essentially what this is, it's a, it's a patch, it's a mod <clears throat> for the um, Ocarina of Time 1.0 already existing uh, ROM, and it essentially just it 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 breaks it down into categories. We're gonna go over it here, um, and you just get to play through this this team of developers' um, interpretation of what the 1997 space world demo was um it's not complete uh and it's not exact it's not one-to-one -one, obviously it's not it's you can't make it one-to-one -one. um there's just there's not enough data that's left or that is or that has been uncovered yet to make a one-to-one -one, um recreation of this but from what i understand it's pretty close so we're gonna find out here um i haven't played <laughs> i haven't played it so we're gonna load up retro arc and Let's see what it has to offer. Okay. Yep, it's fan made. Don't pay for this. It's definitely available for free. I'm gonna leave the video, the trailer for this project, uh, which has a download link in the description of that video. I'm gonna leave that video in my description. Okay, yeah. So we can go through. Yep. Interesting. Okay, so that it looks like there's quite a few uh, places for us to check out, so let's go ahead, let's drop into Link's house. Wow. You, wow. You can already tell so much, like the hat. Wow, look at that fluid animation. That's, that's impressive. One thing that I specifically think, uh, is notable about the, uh, whoa, about the, um, movement of Link in, Ocarina of Time, the Nintendo 64, the earlier games, the Nintendo 64 3D games, is that you can typically turn on a dime right away, but 
there's like a there's a turning animation that's wow okay that's odd there's no music in here whoa <laughs> wow okay what's what's this person have to say oh by the way b and a are reversed in earlier builds of um of this game okay wow uh so i'm probably gonna i'm probably gonna mess that up a lot like a is to swing the sword and not only is a to swing the sword but like um i think wind waker had this in twilight princess you hit a to just unsheath your sword and a again to attack so it's a it's a two-step process and not only <laughs> that's that's definitely not the only change we can target and there's a dedicated jump button. I love. I kind of love it. But it's it's kind of... It's a lot to get used to because there is no roll. Um, and there's no... Oh, okay. There is there is auto-climb. Okay. Cool. Never mind. I thought there was... A, I thought there was an auto-climb. Okay. It looks like it definitely wants us to go to the... Uh, to the Deku tree. So let's... Let's go take a look at that. Oh, interesting. Like a red reticle. God, the sound effects are just so odd. It's like playing the uh, Famicom Disk System version of the first Legend of Zelda and then going back to the NES version. It's so odd. And the, <laughs> the Great Deku Tree is black. I love the text boxes, honestly. Enter from my mouth. <laughs> oh my god. I wonder how much of this is uh, actual script left over from um, from the actual game. Because a lot of what was leaked was a script. So I just I wonder how much of it it is. Whoa. Wow. It's like a brand new Zelda game. <laughs> oh man. This is so exciting. Ugh, yeah, I can't jump over that far. Well, let's see. What is this piece of heart? <laughs> Eight pieces, good God. They better come around, like, often then. Whatever, let's see what this is about. I wonder if this is the, uh, the room that is seen in a lot of screenshots from this era, uh, this build of Ocarina of Time. I just love, <laughs> I love how the, uh, the item icons are not 3D. They're just they're just icons. They they look so bad. I love it. Okay, well here we go. All right, new item. Let's see how this works. Okay. Well, this is most assuredly just you know, and their take on on this menu here because of course it wouldn't look like this and it's odd seeing these seeing the medals here no i don't want to quit well what we can do we have a new slingshot unlimited ammo too nice this is interesting it's just it's just so different. Oh my god, jumping is just so it's so weird in a in a three D Zelda game. I mean, like we have we have it in Breath of the Wild, it's just it's weird and it's weird on Ocarina every time. But I'm not gonna go through this whole dungeon. Uh I I'm thinking about doing just like a long form uh video or maybe maybe I'll even stream it and just put it up. Um going through all the aspects of this of this demo because i really 
I really enjoy it. But let's switch over to something that is uh, that features Adult Link. Okay. So the good thing about this is that, oh yeah, that's right. I forgot that they wanted to add uh, sword combat. I wonder if I wonder if that actually happened. But we, uh, you can select where you want to just end up in the demo. A uh, little bit of dev tools. So this is this is interesting. I love this. All right, yeah, let's let's get down from my pono. See how. Oh man, oh I love the running slash. God, that's some. That's really. <laughs> it sounds like something that just it's it's so in, it inconsequential that it just sounds stupid to even want. But man, that's one of the things I love the most about Wind Waker. I wonder if we have any songs. Let's see if we have any songs. Whoa! Horse Grass Whistle. That's awesome. I'm like a kid in a candy store right now. Ugh. Oh, I love it. Landmine? That's so much cooler than the Bomb Chew. Okay, let's see what these medals do. That one does fire. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Okay. Green arrows. I wonder what the green arrows are. Weird. Okay. No! That is awesome. That is so cool. <laughs> no way. Yeah, I figured that would just be ice arrows. Okay. Light arrows. Wind arrows. It's it's weird. But uh yeah. Let's see what this light metal does. That was probably, actually, you know what? That was probably like something like Ferrari's Wind. That's probably what that was. Um, I wish I knew what this did. I wonder if, does it give a description? Yeah, I guess it didn't back in the day. Damn. Well, either way, this has been a really interesting perspective on Ocarina of Time. I think I will do a uh, a more long form video or just a stream or something that I that I put up here, and um, we'll talk about this further because I I do want to go through some more of the of the dungeons, but. Uh, and obviously some areas you can we can pick areas by just the dev menu so it sounds sounds pretty cool to me but uh let me know what you guys think about this um uh what is it space world 1997 experience build of um ocarina of time it's it's pretty cool to me and uh really hope that they continue the work on it and maybe hopefully honestly we'll we'll find some more uh dev carts within the next several years at the, at this point i guess um and we'll have more of those beta elements for a lot of these games uh dumped out to us and uh hopefully recreated by some of these really talented modders so uh leave the video a like if you liked it dislike it if you didn't uh subscribe for more content like this all the time and we'll see you on the next video and remember stay chunky my friends